This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. All right. So Gloria Velez, she has a podcast on uh, Vlad TV, and I think Vlad just set this up the wrong way because she was a contractor under Vlad TV. He really probably wanted her to just interview people for Vlad TV. So he choose the guest, they interview the person, kind of like he has that agreement with a few other people. But she wanted her own podcast. So he tried to grant that, but then she wanted all kinds of different people on his platform. He said no. And he probably said no, even if they ended up on his platform afterwards, he felt like he could do a better job interviewing him because he is a veteran on that. You know, he's, he's very thorough. Um, Gloria Velez is going to move on from Vlad TV. She, she gave a whole explanation and we won't really know how she really feels until she really gets settled again at another platform. Uh, but you know, she's tried to do this on YouTube before, uh, didn't work so well, but she should have tried a little harder at it. Like if she wants to have her own guests on, she obviously knows people, you know, from, from, uh, her days of you know being a model in music videos when was she a model up until uh, i think she stopped being in videos around 07 she was in videos for a good amount of time like she had a good 10-year run in videos for sure she used to date joe budden too <laughs> but uh anyways she does an explanation of leaving vlad um here, i'll put that up right here just so she can give her explanation, you know, and I'm sure she'll have, uh, oh, is this not downloaded? I guess not. I'm going to have to play it. I can't play the video. It's all messed up. Hold on one sec. Because, uh, you know, this way she'll, uh, she'll find it. She'll find another platform. She should go to, like, I'm sure Joe Budden would have her under the Joe Budden network. You know? We'll see. Blessings, Kingdom family. Um, a lot of you have been asking what's going on with the Gloria Velez podcast on Vlad TV. So um, the agreement between me and Vlad is that I'm an independent contractor, meaning I can leave whenever I please and he can go his way as well at any point in time. We want to see how we work together, um, if we're compatible in working together and how the shows go. All three shows did great. Um, but we're having some difficulty of um, agreeing who should be on my podcast as guests. Um, I have, he turned down so many people, um, from athletes to comedians to rappers to R&B legends, um, even reality show stars that are on TV. Um, so he's making it difficult to produce content because he keeps saying no. So I'm um, kind of stuck. He only gave me a handful of people he will allow to be on the show on that platform, Vlad TV. So with that said, um, I've been going back and forth with Vlad and uh, individual that works for Vlad of my concerns and um, that I'm thinking of moving on um, to another platform. Uh, initially, they said, don't, you know, we're going to give you more creative control, but that never happened. So now I'm expressing myself um, that I'm going to start looking for another platform. Other people have already hit me up on other platforms that are interested without even knowing that I was looking. Um, yeah, what's so crazy is that, you know, um, even certain people that I asked to be on the show, he said no, end up on his show, not recently. Dude, I thought that was a little shady because um, you told me no and then you end up interviewing them. So uh, here's the the bottom line is she left too early. Three three isn't enough. If she had like fifteen to twenty under her belt, people would she would have been more of a a name and could have left. Cause like people don't remember. I'll be honest, like people don't remember the music video for Gloria Velez anymore. <sighs> then we got uh, Young Thug's dad speaks uh, to infamous Sylvia and uh, she gets you know she asks him like what, what, what do you guys feel about Gunna and he said there's no hard feelings uh, which is interesting because everyone was calling Gunna a snitch but they say he said they didn't he didn't do anything to hurt the case maybe they maybe they you know maybe uh, Kevin Lyles straightened things out between those two 
because Gunna is out here and he's doing he's making money that and some of that money's for Young Thug. It's going to it's 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 a good situation for Young Thug, you know, and um maybe maybe the whole time Young Thug was really talking about his brother, Unfunk. I think that hurt him a little more because Unfunk went above and beyond. Let's play this right here. Um, Courtney said, how do you feel about Gunna? I love Gunna. See, that's the thing. People don't understand the relationship. They got this thing saying that Gunna's a rat and he's done no. this and done that. No, but no. But see, let, 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 me try to, let me try to help the attorney clarify that a little simpler. Gunner hasn't done anything whatsoever that can hurt us on this case. Period. So that's basically what he said. Um, you know, if you want to watch the full interview with him, go to Infamous Sylvia. Right, yeah, I put I put her thing, her channel right there, so you can go check her out. Um, she did a full interview with uh, Young Thug's dad. Then uh, Scrappy, he's in a bad place because he's going through a divorce, right? So he's like, yo, men need to go seek help when they have a problem. Like, we can't talk about it online. Like, bro, you got some deep pride. Bro, is this an ad for, like, better help or something? I don't know what's going on. Men right here, all my men. I'm talking to the men. I'm talking to the men. Um... Let's work on getting some help, like talking to somebody. You know what I'm saying? Cause I can tell, like, social media ain't ain't made for men to speak their truth. Ain't made for men to do none of that. That's for women. You know what I'm saying? When men speak their truth on here. We crying or shut up or why y'all come on here doing that? But when women do it, it'd be like okay. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's a place that all women be on. Like women be on social media. 30,000 a day, you know what I'm saying? That's their life, you know, some of them, not all of them, some of them. But at the end of the day, for men, I think when you be talking and shit, I think we should go straight to get some help. Cause I had to do that shit too. Gotta go get some help, talk to somebody else. Don't... I mean, it's good he's getting help, but like, calm down, buddy. Like, <laughs> share that with your friends. <laughs> but you know, he has a lot going on. He has like, he's going through a divorce. He has problems with his mother all the time. His life is, he put his whole life on uh, love and hip hop. So you got to always have drama going on anyway. So can't be healthy. Anyways, hopefully he's doing okay. And this is Jordan Tower with JT News. I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.